everyone, Uncle Jess here. This is the Elegoo Saturn 8K. And no, it's not the same as the uh, Elegoo Saturn 2, which is also sporting an 8K resolution screen. This is the latest and greatest in the Saturn series of resin 3D printers. And honestly, it might be the best one yet, especially when it comes to overall value and bang for your buck. At face value, the original Elegoo Saturn 8K looks exactly like the original Elegoo Saturn, which is a fantastic, budget-friendly, mid-size resin 3D printer that I know is wildly popular among lots of folks out there when it comes to resin 3D printing. And it's also eerily similar to the Elegoo Saturn S, which just came out earlier this past year, where it has a slightly larger build volume than the standard Elegoo Saturn and is sporting a little air filter system inside of the machine. And then we have the big brother of all of the Saturns, which is the Elegoo Saturn II, which Honestly, when it comes down to these two different machines between the Saturn 8K and the Saturn 2, they're almost the exact same machine other than the design is slightly different and the build volume of the Saturn 2 is slightly taller. So let's talk about the build volume here on the Saturn 8K, which not only is it sporting a 8K resolution monoscreen display, but that build volume is 219 by 123 by 2 110 millimeters high, which again is slightly smaller than the Saturn II. However, for a large number of people out there, this build volume is more than enough for the typical things that you're gonna be looking at printing, especially when it comes to printing miniatures or busts or statues or even small masks. And the build plates are also basically the exact same size, slightly different design, but the overall size of the actual plate is the exact same between the Saturn II and the Saturn 8K, which is fantastic if you're looking to slap on, you know, like a wham bam flex plate or something like that here for uh, your resin 3D printer. And then just doing a quick comparison between the Saturn 8K build plate and the standard Elegoo Saturn, yeah, it's uh, it's a good bit larger. I mean. It's uh, it's shocking how much more you can end up printing when you have just a little bit more space on your build volume of your printers. And just for fun, I know some people have asked about comparing this to the Elegoo Jupiter build plate. Yeah, the Jupiter is just ginormous compared to <laughs> any of the Saturn printers. The Saturn 8K is also rocking a slightly new VAT design as well. So there's little built-in handles or grips on the side of the vats, honestly, I, I have a love-hate with this. I like the idea of that. However, when I'm pouring resin out of the vat back into my bottles, I end up getting resin trapped in those little pockets there, which just ends up with me having to try and clean them out before I try and reinsert the vat back onto the printer. It's also sporting that new tempered glass top that the Saturn II also has. So you basically have a built-in screen protector protecting the display, which if you end up getting cured resin on this glass top, it's gonna to be a good bit easier to remove without you scratching up the actual screen. And it also comes with one of the USB powered air filtration systems that plugs directly into the printer itself. I honestly haven't used this one just yet, but if you end up buying one of these, make sure to take off the top the charcoal that's inside is gonna be wrapped in plastic. You need to remove that before you run off and actually plug it in and start working with it or else it's not really gonna do any good. Now, normally this is where I jump in and start showing you the prints I've gotten off the machine and then I'll talk to you about the price point, but I wanna go directly into the pricing for this machine and it's one of the main reasons why I'm so excited that Elegoo's produced this and placed it at the price range that they have. And it's obviously gonna be a little bit more expensive than the standard Saturn and the Saturn S, but it's a good bit less expensive than the Saturn II. And I know for a number of people out there, they were holding out because the Saturn II was just a little bit too expensive for their needs and they didn't need all of that vertical build volume. Well, I think this might be the perfect option for a lot of people, especially if you were original Saturn owner and have been holding out and waiting to jump on to something, you know, that's a little bit more powerful when it comes to printing. And at the time of me recording this video and posting it, hopefully it will still be live, Elegoo is running a crazy deal where you can buy the Saturn 8K plus their wash and cure station for less than it costs for you to buy 
the actual Saturn II, which is just mind-blowingly crazy to me. So for almost the same price as the Saturn II, you could get an 8K resolution resin 3D printer plus a wash and cure bundle. And obviously it's just gonna be slightly less tall than you'd have from the Saturn II. Now I have had some print issues while trying to work with this machine, but it's not actually the fault of the printer. It has to do with the temperature of my workshop here. And overnight resin 3D printing without the heat on has been just a horrible idea. Temperature really does massively affect your resin 3D printing ability in not a good way. So make sure to kick on the heat because I think it was around 55 or 50 at night here, which was just way too cold, which is why I kept running into multiple resin 3D print failures, even after performing a few tests. And here's a great example of this where I was trying to print a Frankenstein bust from Draftneer Studios. It's the exact same resin 3D printer settings, the exact same resin. The only difference is the temperature of my workshop. And I had just nothing but issue after issue with my print space just being a little bit too cold. So once I kicked on the heat, I was able to get really nice, great looking prints off of this machine. Along with Frankenstein, I also printed this Beast Bust that Drafting Studios also released as part of their Patreon. Looks fantastic, lots of little details that are just popping beautifully here off of this 8K resolution resin 3D printer, all printed at 0.05 millimeter layer height as well. Next, I took the entire build plate to print this Rancor statue from Star Wars that was designed by Photos Mint. And again, looks absolutely amazing. I'm very happy with the re results that I'm seeing from this. I mean, I honestly wasn't expecting anything but absolutely fantastic prints coming off this machine. I think the big one for me was all about the price point build volume in that 8K resolution screen that you're able to pick up. It's just a, an incredible value. And the last file that I've gone off and printed is this crazy detailed vampire skull cup design from Archville and Games. It's part of their latest Patreon release. I printed this at I think 60% the original scale, basically pieced all the uh, parts together and then went off and printed it and then spent the next hour plus trying to remove all of the supports without breaking off anything. I did end up breaking off one of the little jewels there that I, I didn't realize until after I've already cleaned this up. So I've got to reprint one of the jewels there that needs to go on the uh, 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 around the chains for the skull. But overall, fantastic looking print. Lots of little details that you're able to catch with this. And I actually need to start trying to finish and paint some of these three prints. I think I might try and just do like a, a black coat and then with some uh, rub and buff, some different parts of this, just to try and quickly get this painted. I also want to take a moment to say thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Elegoo, the makers of this Elegoo Saturn 8K resolution resin 3D printer, which is again, just a fantastic budget friendly 8K resolution resin 3D printer that is available now. It's not even a pre-order. These things are available now for you to buy. You can hop on over to Amazon and pick one up for yourself or jump on over to Elegoo's website and grab that crazy deal for the wash and cure station plus the Saturn 8K for less than it costs you to buy the Saturn 2. Or if you need that extra build volume, go for the Saturn 2. I also wanna say thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. I'm gonna be working on getting the Saturn 8K resin 3D printer settings up and running and available over to my Patreon supporters. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, you can find more information about that over in my Patreon. I also wanted to mention that on the back side of the UV protective case there, you have a port opening that if you wanted to build in some sort of air filtration unit, you can plug that in directly there. It's the same with the Saturn 8K or the two, I just messed that up. The same as the Saturn 2 resin 3D printer. I thought I could go the whole video without mixing those up. Also at the time of recording this video, chi 2 box did support the Saturn 8K, uh, but Lychee did not yet have support for the Saturn 8K, but I'm sure that's gonna be coming here very soon with one of their next updates. But let me know what you think about a more budget-friendly 8K resolution resin 3D printer that'll allow you to print some relatively large things or a whole bunch of small things in one go. Hey, thanks so much for watching y'all. I'll see you next time.